Hello everyone. Uh, today I wanted to show you how to record mono drums from Superior Drummer 3 into Pro Tools. Uh, I've been looking all over on how to do this. I found the way that I like to do it, so I just thought I'd share it with you all or whoever cares. Uh, so first you go to Track New Stereo Instrument. And this is where you would add superior drums in the inserts, multi-channel plugin, instrument, superior drummer three. And over here, you'd want to open, you know, your superior drummer file that you want to record. Make sure you have follow host on. We'll hit try it out. All right, that's working. So I'm gonna do it, do this example with just three of the mics, because <clears throat> there's a lot of mics. Um, I like doing half the kit at the time anyway, at a time, because there's just a lot of mics going on. But I'm gonna do it for three of them, so you understand the concept. <clears throat> I'm gonna pick kick trig, snare top, and hi hat. Three basics. So I'm gonna change the kick trig output yeah all of them are on one two so you want to start from the next one three four and then snare top i'm going to do five six hi-hat seven eight <clears throat> but if you're doing more you just keep going nine ten eleven twelve same concept there's a lot a lot of room as you can see you can get all the way to 31 32 uh so you're all set on this side here now you want to go to pro tools and you're going to create three stereo aux input tracks. I'll call one kick. I'll call it kick aux. Snare aux. And hi-hat aux. <clears throat> So you want to change the inputs of these to the corresponding output that you did in Superior. So for the kick, it was 3-4. So you go to the input, plug in Superior Drummer 3, 3-4. Three, and then same thing for the snare. The snare was 5-6. So you select 5-6. Same with the hi-hat, 7-8. You do 7-8. And then, so <clears throat> for the outputs of these, you want to put, you want to go to the bus. So kick auxiliary, you go to the next available. So seven, you don't want to pick stereo. You want to pick the mono one. So seven, that means snare would be eight. And hi-hat's nine. Okay. Now the auxiliary tracks are ready. We want to create audio tracks to correspond with them. So we're going to get three mono audio tracks. And the inputs of these tracks, so we'll call one, you know, kick. These are your final takes right here. Kick, snare, hi-hat. <clears throat> so the inputs of these tracks need to match the bus that their aux auxiliary is going off of. So the kick is going to seven. So the input is going to be bus seven. And just next one, input bus eight, bus nine. And uh, now if you record enable the tracks, uh, you should get some recording going. You can see I got action on each microphone. If I come here and unfollow the host and just test this out here. So you can see it captured each one um, perfectly right out of superior drum with mono. 
So you can use the same concept to record seven mics at a time, eight mics at a time, but they will all come in through a nice natural monotone. Uh, get even more of an authentic drummer feel. Uh, but yeah, that's it. You'd use the same concept. And then once you're done and you're happy with your takes, you can delete all the auxiliary tracks and the instrument track and just keep good old fashioned audio tracks like a drummer tracked it. Uh, but yeah, that's how you record mono from Superior Drummer 3 into Pro Tools. Thank you.